Welcome to Cengage Learning's Enhanced Web Assign, Creating a Gradebook. This is an installment of the Digital Course Support Self-Training Video Series for Instructors. Our agenda for this video is to guide you through the steps of creating a gradebook using Enhanced Web Assign's Gradebook Wizard and importing gradebook settings from another Enhanced Web Assign course. Once you have a gradebook, you will be able to import its settings into future gradebooks you create. If this is the first time for you to create a gradebook, you will not see this option. To create your web assigned gradebook, follow these steps. On your home page, select the course for which you want to create the gradebook. Now in class view, use the grades drop down menu and select gradebook. Click the Wizard button to begin the process. Please note, once you have an existing gradebook, you will be given the option to import settings from another class or to export your grades to a spreadsheet. After making your choice, click Next. Select how you want students' grades to be calculated, when to be updated, and the categories to be included. Assignments to use and calculations. Determine how you want your students' grades calculated. Pass due calculation. Only the assignments where the due date is passed are included in the gradebook calculations. All assignments calculation. The scores of all the assignments visible to your students at the time the gradebook is updated are included in the score calculations regardless of the due date. This option can lead to students seeing a grade that is different from what they might expect because they have not yet completed all of their assignments. Assignments that are not yet available to students are not factored into the gradebook calculations. Automatic updates. Set how you want your gradebook to update your student scores. Yes, scores are updated automatically on the selected days and times. If you select automatic updating, you can still update it manually at any time. No. Scores are not automatically updated. New scores are added in the gradebook when you update it. So if you do not update your gradebook, your students will not see their updated calculated scores reflected in their grade. Categories. Select categories you wish to include. You may also add your own categories. You can create categories for grades that result from work outside of WebAssign. For example, if your students also do paper homework, you can create a category for that and enter the scores of their grades. Final Grade Calculation Method Choose to have WebAssign calculate a final grade or not. You can upload final grades later. Click Next. Select the weighting method you prefer. You can provide a weight to each of the categories you selected or created on the prior screen, or skip weighting and each category is worth the total number of points of all the assignments. Click Next. Select the categories for which you would like WebAssign to calculate an average. For each selected category, the gradebook calculates that category average and includes it as part of the final grade. Click Next. Determine how you want your assignments to be weighted. Equal weights. Each assignment will be weighted equally for a category regardless of the number of points contained in it. This selection normalizes the scores in each category so they are all worth the same amount. For example, if your student earns 5 out of 10 on an assignment 1 and 70 out of 100 on assignment 2, the calculated score would be the average of 50% and 70% or 60%. Weighted by points. Each assignment will be weighted by the number of points contained in it. This is an average of the number of points. If your student earns 5 out of 10 on assignment 1 and 70 out of 100 on assignment 2, the calculated score would be 75 out of 110 points or 68.2%. Click Next to select the number of assignments you would like to drop by category. Assignments with the lowest scores will be dropped and not count toward the category average. Click Next. Select the grading scale to use in your gradebook. 
and enter the minimum score for each grade or scale for your course. Click Next. To determine the student view, under Interim Final Grade, select the information you want your students to see. For raw scores, select which statistics to show your students and determine when they are able to see them. Click Next. You can now view a summary of your choices. Decide if these settings apply to this section or if you wish to apply it to other sections. Then click Save These Settings. Notice your progress bar is at 100%, but you aren't finished until you click Update Gradebook for this section. Importing Gradebook settings from another Enhanced Web Assign course. If you have a gradebook and you would like to use its settings for additional courses you create in WebAssign, follow these steps. On your home page, select the course for which you want to create a gradebook. Now, in Class View, use the Grades drop-down menu and select Gradebook. Click the Wizard button. Select the option to import my settings from another class then click Next. Click Show Past Sections. All of the sections to which you have access that contain a gradebook are displayed. Select the section from which you want to import the gradebook settings and click Next. The imported gradebook settings are displayed. You can save your settings or you can select Choose Different Sections to use a gradebook from another course or section. Click Update Gradebook Now. Thanks for taking the time to review this self-training video, and we hope you found it helpful. Please make sure to check out our other self-training videos and resources for more help with your Cengage digital products.